Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we have explored some APIs which are related to a stream, a stream which belongs to the stream interface. In this video tutorial, we will continue exploring some more API which belongs to the stream itself. So here in previous video tutorial, we have seen how to generate infinite string using generate method. So in next API, we have a iterate. And this is the another way of creating an infinite stream is by using the iterate method which is available in the stream interface. So it's a static method so directly you can call by uh, its interface. So here you can see first parameter I have passed 40 and I have specified lambda expressions. So this is basically nothing but this behavior or function you can see. So that will start generating number from 14 and in next num next subsequent number that will add to always and this will limit till 20 number will be generated so explanation is on the bottom of this code snippet the first element of the resulting stream is a first parameter of the iterate method for creating every following elements the specified function is applied to the previous element so, uh, so in this in this this behavior will be applied for the every elements uh, on the previous previously generated in the example of, of the second element would be 42 then 44 something like that so here is the eclipse let's go ahead and create a project so code I already have written so here you can see steam dot iterate and I have started from 10 and I have specified the lambda expression and limiting to 10 elements so if I run it then 10 number will be generated and that will start from the 10 10 12 and till 28 so 10 numbers you got like this so i hope uh, actually this function already i have explained in my previous video tutorial still i have ripped it over here now next thing we are going to explore a stream of primitives java 8 offers a possibility to create streams out of three primitive types that is int, long and double. As stream, you can see stream from stream interface takes a generic parameter t, and here instead here in place of t, you can pass only object. You cannot pass any primitive type. It's a generic interface, and there is no way to use primitive as a type parameter with generics, right? Three new special. That's why Java engineers have implemented three new special interfaces, and to deal with the uh, stream that is int stream long stream and double stream right using the new interfaces alleviates unnecessary auto boxing allows increased productivity now you can see int stream and we have a function is called range which is a static function so directly you can call by this interface name so here if i go to the jdk here if you press ctrl shift t and if you search for int stream int stream is specified by i means it's, a, it's an interface similarly we have a long stream long stream and double stream right ctrl shift t and search for double stream so these all are interfaces right so if you look into these two classes int as well as long I search for the double as well sorry i was supposed to search double as well double stream and here is the double stream so here you can see here in this slide we have discussed about the two methods right so let's first discuss and then i'll show you the uh, source code so here in the stream interface we have a range method here just we are specifying the range 1 2 3 so that will generate so here you can see explanation of this api is on below and for range method and second is the range closed that is start from 1 2 3 so different between these two api this will start generating number from 1 2 till n minus 1 so 1 and 2 will be generated so last range is the exclusive but first is the inclusive similarly we have another method in long as well as 
so this method range method is available in the int interface as well as long interface again we have our range closed and that is start from 1 and 3 i have given the range 1 to 3 so this will first and second parameter is inclusive so this will generate 1 2 and 3 but here 1 and 2 so these two api is available on the both interface when i say both interface that means that is available on the int stream as well as long stream but these two api is not available on the double stream so explanation of these two api is given below the range that is int start inclusive and int uh, int second integer int exclusive method creates an ordered stream from the first parameter to the next next parameter so from first parameter if you specify 2 to 10 so that will start generating from 2 to 9 that will generate number from 2 to 9 it increments the value of subsequent elements with the step equal to 1 so this will increase every, every elements by 1 the result does not include the last parameter it is just an upper bound of the sequence so last parameter is the exclusive one so if you specify last parameter 50 so that will generate number till 49 the range closed so first parameter is the int starts inclusive and in parameter is also inclusive method so the, i'm talking about the second method this method does the same with only difference the second element is included these two methods can be used to generate any of the two types int or long of the stream of primitive types since java 8 the random class provides a wide range of methods for generation streams of primitives for example the following code creates double stream which has three elements right so if you look into the uh, class random so random has a double method there you will have to pass how many double number you want to generate so that you can pass it over here and so let's go to the eclipse and try to explore this thing through an example so let me show you first of all int stream we have a range right range and range closed right so which we have discussed in the slide if you go to the long here you can see the same method range and range closed but in double nothing like a range right nothing like a range now let's explore these things through an example so here i'm going to explore these things whatever we have discussed in the slide so we have an int stream int sorry it's not from capital int stream and we have a range method right range and I'm going to start from 1 to till 6 so that this will generate number from 1 to 5 and and this will return in stream so I'm going to print this guy and see the output yeah, one to five you got right so last parameter is the exclusive one similarly we have a another similarly so let's copy it and we have a something it's called say range two and range closed range closed right so if you look into this API, this will generate number from 1 to 6. 6 is here, both are both parameters is inclusive one. So if I try to run it, then 6 this has printed 1 to 6. And these two methods are also available in the long long stream interface. So I hope you understood this whatever I have explained over here in the slide now we have also talked about the random number right so if you look into the random class so let me show you those things as well so we have a random class which is in java.util package 
random equal to new random now you can have a random now you can you can go to the random class and here you can search uh, like star dot sg now look at the these are the api which returns you is stream itself right i mean api which this api int stream return type of this is int stream right which takes long as argument how many int you want to generate so that this will generate the infinite number of integers so similarly see legend type of this api is long stream right long double so i will leave you on you guys to explore this api as well which are present in the random but practical purpose i'm going to explore at least one of them so here i'm going to random dot doubles right which we have seen in and here i'm going to pass five so this will generate returns us the stream itself and here we can print this stream using for each loop right so this will generate five double kind of number so if you look into the output so see five double number is generated so that's the use of this api now in this video tutorial we have seen uh, three apis iterate uh, a stream of primitives like int a stream long stream and double stream and one more thing i would like to cover in this tutorial and that is nothing but if you have a string like a string can also be used as a source of creating a stream uh, with the help of cache method of the string class since there is no interface like char stream in jdk the int stream is used to uh, represent the stream of cache instead so you have a suppose you have a string and you can call cache method this will return you the int stream because there is no api like char stream and you can uh, the following example breaks a string into sub string according to the a specified regular expressions suppose you have a pattern class again pattern as a compile method and there you can pass the delimiter right and after that if you go to the pattern uh, you have a pattern sorry press control shift you have a pattern class right here you have a method is called split as a stream right split and this returns is the stream of uh, stream of a stream right so so let's explore these things through an example so here basically if you have a string like a string like a b c d and a, here you can call get sorry get cats get cats what is that method get cats that is star sorry cats and this will return you this will return you a stream of integer right and again you can iterate this guy and we get the output and you can make use of for each loop and if i try to run it then you get so here a every character has some ascii value so ascii value of a in 97 then 98 99 something like you will get output so look at here 97 98 99 and henry got output like this <coughs> so that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial in next video tutorial i'm going to cover some more steam apis so please be with me over there and thanks for watching this video